Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Buddy Blackford with another After Effects CS6 tutorial for the new Boston. Today we're going to be going over the shortcuts so you can have them all in one tutorial and that way you don't have to go back to each tutorial to try to remember what the shortcuts are. And I'm just going to go over all the ones that we learned real quick and then maybe add in a couple if I didn't go over it. So, let's get started. Um, I have a picture of my cat. He's, his name is Caddis, and uh, this was his Halloween costume this year. And um, when we put it on him, he didn't move. He basically just fell on his side and laid there. And he wouldn't move until we took it off. But we got this picture of him, and I use this for a Halloween picture when I post on my Facebook or whatever. Okay, let's uh, start by the timeline panel down here and let's go over the timeline uh, uh, hotkeys. So remember that A is anchor point, P is position, S is scale, <clears throat> R is rotation, T is opacity. And if you hold shift, you can uh, type one of those hotkeys on your keyboard and it'll add more. So if I hold shift and I press R for rotation, it'll add it in there. Let me press in A for anchor point or P for position, and it'll add them all in there. So let's get rid of those. Now, if you want to open up a uh, transform, uh, menu with the stopwatch turned on you hold alt or option on the Mac shift and then press the reveal key which I'm going to do rotation so alt shift R Oop, gotta click on the layer alt shift R and then it brings up rotation with it with the uh, stopwatch on which starts your keyframing and to turn it off, uh, same thing, turns it off. If you press U, it'll show all your animated properties. So I press U right now. I click on click on the timeline. Always make sure that the timeline panel is highlighted when you're doing this. Press U, and it will bring up the properties that you have animated. So I animated the position on this just so I could show you how you worked. <clears throat> now if you want to find all your properties that have been changed from default you press UU so two U's in su succession and I added a sharpen on this picture which I changed it from 0 to 20 so that's not default that's 20 and then the position was changed and the scale was changed to 200 instead of 100 so that's how you find uh, things that you have changed now if you want to solo your selected properties which let me select scale and position here I can select them both by holding control while I click and I press SS, so two S's in a row. It now goes to the properties I have selected. If I want to hide a property, I will hold Alt and Shift or Option and Shift on a map, Mac and click on it. It goes away. Now to bring up the transform dialog boxes, you will let's see let's see if I remember this one. You hold control shift and you push the hotkey for your uh, transform property, which I'm gonna use position, control shift P. Yep, I got it right and that brings up the dialog box. Now if I want to stretch the 
layer to fit the comp. Uh, let's use a solid real quick because if I stretch this uh, picture it'll look all weird. So layer new solid and we'll make it the comp we'll uh, make it not the comp size. So let's just bring this down to something random. Let's uh, hide the hot dog cat caddis. So to do that, to make this the size of the comp, I will hold control and alt and press F. There we go. Don't always use that. I always, um, I, it's hard to remember all the hotkeys. So usually for that one, I just go to layer, solid settings. And then make comp size but if you can remember all these hotkeys and you can remember that using that one that is useful and uh, I'll turn this off because it's bright as hell all right and that's about it for the hotkeys that that are important at least and uh, we will go over more things like creating a solid that has a hotkey, control Y, just real quick, creates a solid, and you make solids all the time. They're good for backgrounds and things like that, I don't know, masks, shapes, whatever. We'll go over that in a, in a while. But just, I didn't even really need to tell you that yet because I haven't gone over solids, but I will later on and that stacker 2 that I took last tutorial still on and I'm still wired so it seems to be a good energy shot because it's only a dollar let's uh, end this tutorial and we'll move on to the next one hope to see you guys there see you later